The Asus Zenfone 2 is expected to launch in India on April 23rd, roughly around the 19,000 price bracket. Now this device is really good and it's going to go up against the likes of the MI4 and the OnePlus One. My name is Bharat Nagpal. Today we're going to be unboxing the Zenfone 2. Now this is a box of the Zenfone 2 and the first thing inside the box is uh, the device itself. A couple of things mentioned, it does have a 13 megapixel camera. It says bigger while smaller, 5.5 inch display in a 5 inch body. Now the company does not recommend that you cut your SIM cards or put them in a SIM tray and wants you to buy new SIM cards to just use in this device. In the box you will get a warranty card and a user guide along with a USB to micro USB cable and a wall charger which is a standard asus wall charger with a usb port on one side now the final box may or may not include earphones our box did not so that's everything from the box of the zenfone 2 it's time to take a look at this device itself now the front of the device has an earpiece along with the asus logo a 5 megapixel front facing fixed focal length camera is what completes the top Front. You also get a 5.5 inch display on the front of the Asus Zenfone 2. It is uh, protected by Gorilla Glass 3. The main display is an IPS LCD display and you get a resolution of 1920 into 1080 pixels. The device is powered by the Intel Atom Quad Core a Z3580 chipset. Now this is a 2.3 GHz CPU along with a PowerVR G6 430 GPU. The device does support OpenGL 3.0. You get an option of 2GB and 4GB of RAM and on this device you get 4GB of RAM. The power button and the earphone jack is on the top of the device along with a secondary noise cancellation microphone. The main microphone and the micro USB charging port is at the bottom of the device. Now more or less like the LG G3, everything on the Asus Zenfone 2 is happening on the back of the device. So you have the volume rockers which are located on the back of the device. You also have the main 13 megapixel camera and you have dual LED flash in dual colors to get the right kind of white balance. You can see the Asus logo, a nice brushed finish on the back. It's a brushed metal finish but it's actually a plastic cover. You see the Zenfone logo and the main speakerphone at the bottom of the device. Now there's nothing on either side of the device and if you pop open the back panel you'll see that the battery is non-replaceable and you get two SIM card slots and a micro SD card slot that will support up to 64GB. The battery on the inside is a 3000mAh lithium polymer battery. The device looks mighty fancy and it's got this really nice brushed finish, almost looks like the LG G3 mixed up with the HTC One M8 in terms of the color. Really nice fit and feel of the device, it does not squeak or uh, creak at all and it feels like it's a nicely built device. Now the display and the user interface are really fast and responsive. Uh, the, the Zenfone UI is nice and clean, it is running Android 5.0 Lollipop out of the box. Uh, you can see that it's really nice, fast and responsive, really clean, not a lot of customizations done. And if you want to customize anything according to your requirements, you can simply pull out this menu. It'll help you sort of figure it out. You have widgets, wallpapers. You also can download icon packs. Scroll effects uh, can be changed to classic, revolving, a windmill style, a fan style, an accordion style, and many other. You can also download several icon packs from uh, the Google Play Store. All you need to do is uh, log in to your Google account to do that. A bunch of applications are preloaded and you can also customize the way your app drawer appears. You can change the scroll animations and you can change uh, the way your icons are sort of uh, shown. So you can go into the view mode and only see the downloaded applications. You can also sort them out in terms of a custom order or a frequently used order in which it will automatically put the apps that you use more in the beginning or the first page of your app drawer. Now whatever animation you choose for the home screen will also be available in the app drawers. I selected the fan scroll effect and you can see that over here. 
a bunch of preloaded applications from Asus uh, that will help you. Uh, I, we don't know if these apps can be removed or not. We'll check that out in the full review and let you know. I'm going to quickly play a video from uh, YouTube to show you what it looks like on this display. And this display has a nice viewing angle and good brightness indoors as well as outdoors. So uh, we can see that the color reproduction on the IPS display is really good. And the speakerphone is also decently loud, although it's located on the back. We're getting a good sort of accurate sound from the speakerphone. So there you go guys, uh, this was a quick unboxing and first look at the new Asus Zenfone 2. Now this device is going to be available April 23rd, priced around the 19 to 20,000 price bracket is what sources are telling us. Uh, the device is expected to make a difference for Asus in the market. Uh, they will be sold exclusively on Flipkart for the time being, so uh, do definitely uh, check it out if you're interested in a device in that price bracket. Now, of course, our review will be out letting you know whether or not you should invest in this device. Also, you can check out our videos of the new HTC One M9 Plus, the E9 Plus and the Galaxy S6 Edge on our channel, youtube.com slash iGAN. For all details, visit iGAN.in. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Instagram and Snapchat. This has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching.